Good morning. It's Saturday morning and we are honored to spend some time with Maestro himself. I am master of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> how have you been doing? Or rather, how have you been surviving Essen? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, you, you are right. Uh, it's something like surviving. Yeah, yes. yeah, because you're alive. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a, it's a very, very big fair for me this year. I had six new releases. That means that uh, I think that my work is to support my publishers mm -hmm. and to, uh, to go on their booth to uh, demonstrate games and sign games, sign copies, etc. And chit chat with, uh, with the gamers coming from uh, all around the world. So that's what I do and I'm a little tiring now. Yeah. But do you miss time when you can just walk around the Essen and just walk a look at the games instead of having meeting after meeting after signing session? I have no time for that. Yeah, but do you miss that time? Yes, for sure. Yeah, yeah for sure. So you have been a um, board game designer over 14 years yeah. and most of that time you've been doing that full time. Have you ever experienced something like a cre um, creative crisis where you feel that your head is empty and you just can't create anything else and you don't have any ideas. Not at this time. It's something that <laughs> my, my co-designer is laughing, but... Uh, uh, <laughs> no, no, not, 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 not at this time. Uh, maybe it's also because I'm working a lot with other people uh -huh. and it's also a good way uh, not to have uh, this fear of uh, the white page, in fact. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. So. Um, Tell me, how easy it is to get your game published now? Do you just walk in the office and of the publisher and hear, yes, yes, we agree, we're going to publish it? No, 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 absolutely. It doesn't change anything. You are, the fact that I've been published many times just help me to have uh, meetings. That means that uh, never mind the publisher, yeah. if I ask for a meeting, I will have a meeting. Okay. I will have. Uh, the time to present uh, the game with the uh, best conditions, okay. but uh, any good publisher will publish my game only because of my name. It will be crazy because you know, yes, there are some fans for sure, but uh, maybe if uh, one new for each new game, maybe it's 500 copies worldwide, sure. Yeah. So it makes no sense to, yeah. uh, to invest money for so few copies. So. I always have to, uh, to demonstrate my game, to convict the publishers. And sometimes now I have also, uh, you know, uh, when you come in front of a publisher with a small game, mm -hmm. small, nice game, and you just made Five Tribes, Abyss, Seven Wonders Duel, okay. they expect more. Uh, you see? And, it's, and sometimes for just small games, but good games, it's more difficult. Okay. Yes. Okay. But, I assume completely to have that kind of problem. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But when do you hand over the prototype to publisher, like completely? Do you like do you take part over the publishing process, for example? Do they consult you about how the game is going to look like, or regarding components, or it's like complete up to the publisher? I like uh, to have an input or to be consulted uh -huh. uh, for all the, the production process because uh, you know I am the. The, the first to promote my games and I need to, uh, to believe in uh, what has been done. So uh, the more I can discuss uh, about how it will be produced, the more it's uh, easy for me to promote the game. But uh, the publisher has always a final cut for sure because yeah. it's his work. But I like to be involved in the process. Okay. And they like to involve? I choose publishers where it's possible okay. to, to have this, that kind of discussion. It's okay. just a discussion, yep. but yep. and they choose. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Lately in Facebook, uh, you were talking about um, Game of Thrones, the yes. Hand of the King, yeah. and you mentioned that this is a dream come true. For sure. Why that? Is it because of the publisher, Fantasy Flight Games, or why? It's, it's, be, it's because of Game of Thrones. Ah, okay. You yes. wanted a licensed game. Uh, I just... I'm a big fan of Game of Thrones, really. Uh, I discovered, it's, it's, it's fun because uh, I discovered Game of Thrones because of the first board game in Essen, yeah. 10 years ago, something like that. And I was so impressed by the game that uh, when someone told me that uh, it was a game based on a novel, on a, on a book, I thought, I, I, I thought that the, the book should be incredible yeah. to generate that kind of yeah. board game. And so coming back home, I bought the book and I, I booked 
I uh, I read all the the, the books uh, on uh -huh. on a row. Yeah. And I really love this story. I love the characters. I love the way it's written. I'm fan of the George Martin uh -huh. uh, work. And when the TV uh, show uh, came, I sh I'm looking at all the all the the, uh, the, 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 the episodes. The sorry, the series. <laughs> Uh, as soon as they are online, and uh, yes, I'm I'm really fan. So now to have my really small input uh, in that uh, story that I like so much, it's a dream for me. Yes. Is there any either licensed novel or book or anything that you would love to design a game for? For sure. <laughs> licensed game. Yes, I would. I would love. I would love to have a game in Star Wars. Uh, Uh, so it's, yes, it's I would love to have a game with uh, Dune. You know Dune for yes. Frank, Frank Herbert, for example. I would love that kind of thing, yeah, for sure. Amazing. Yeah. Why can't you do that? Because it's so difficult to get a license. That means that if, when I'm working on a game, I'm never sure that it will be published. Yep. So invest a lot of time, of my time, to create a game which works very well and to hear the publisher saying me, but it's too difficult to have a license. That means for me it's wasting time. I understand. I understand. Uh, And I was lucky to have uh, the chance to get the license for uh, for Hand of the King. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if it was already with the. Uh, that means that f when you when I designed this game, I had to work with FFG yeah. or nobody else yes, exactly. because they have exactly. a license, and my chance was that they accepted to to work on it. Amazing. <laughs> Let's change the topic a bit. So you know there are two major I don't know game groups or game types, Ameritrash and Euro. Yeah. So right now there is a third term that has been rising, which is French style. Yeah. Have you heard about that? Yes, I heard about that. Okay. Like, can you explain what is that? What is the style in your opinion? I think that it's it's the opinion of uh, reviewers. Okay. It's not my opinion. Yeah. Okay. And and no no, but uh, I understand why I'm say, saying that. But in in my opinion, now it, it doesn't mean anything. Uh, Ameritrash, uh, Euro games, French style, etc. Because now with with the connection, internet, etc. Uh, all is a melting pot, and we are all influenced by all what is made uh, worldwide. For, I'm influenced by, by American games, yeah. by Japan games, Japanese games, etc., etc., and I do my own uh, job, and I'm working the way I want to play, and that means that uh, in a few years, you will never. I think that we will never speak about that kind of thing, but it's the style of the designer which will make the difference, and not the location where he's living. No, I didn't mean the location. Of course, you can design a Meritage game in I don't know Germany yeah. or world, but it's still like a feeling. There's some like characteristics to the game. Yeah. I was more talking about the style, not like a geographical okay. location. So what people call French style means um, games where you have control. But not you can don't control everything. You have a, a power of things which are hidden, stays hidden, and with um, very nice uh, artwork. Yes. I, in my opinion. Yes, yeah. I agree. Mm. Like I would say a few more things. Um, in my opinion, French school is it's not just a blending of the two styles because that would be a hybrid. Yeah. But it would have strong theme, strong, yeah, strong theme, uh, mechanics. Right. But it's not complex, exactly. Which is often uh, so it's rather streamlined and rule set is quite easy. And and it's not dry. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. And it always quite often has a small twist. Yeah. So the, like maybe it is going to melt later on, but right now I I really feel that it is a game, like a group of games, a style that mm. is actually exists now. So um, but do you? Do you think you can explain or know how did that happen? Like how did that style evolve? Uh, it's difficult to uh, to know. I think I think that uh, in our country, uh, France, Belgium, Switzerland, we have a big influence of uh, comics of, uh, com of Belgian comic style. That means that uh, we have a specific feeling for illustrations. Yes. That's that's one thing, and it's also. Um, The following of uh, of the 80s years in in France, where there were a big uh, publisher which doesn't exist anymore, which is which was Jeux Descartes, mm -hmm. 
uh, with, uh, with uh, game designers like Serge Laget, with uh, Bruno Feduti, yep. with uh, Dominique Erhardt, uh, who show the way, in fact. And I think that then we follow that way, more or less. I had like I didn't know about the comic cell. Uh, yeah. My idea theory yeah. was that as much as I noticed that French in, in like France you have the gaming community is really close, tight and really evolved. Yeah. So there's lots of reviewers, for example, there are many designers and lots of collaborations between. For sure. So it seems that all you designers are friends mm. and like as you work so tight you have some sort of a standard or some sort of a, like a view of a good game and as it just within time maybe it just created a style probably it helps but uh, even if I'm looking in French designer who have so many different styles yeah. inside the French touch that uh, I, I'm not sure that this co-influence is so heavy in fact mm -hmm. for example a Bruno Feduti's game yeah. has nothing to see with uh, Antoine Boza's games which is very different for for Cédric Chaboussi for example and, and that kind of thing so true yeah. true that yes even within that style yeah. it's really really different and like different characteristics of, of exactly. the games but why do French designers collaborate so much because that collaborations went over to other countries as well but first of all I think the most yeah yeah is within France why why do you like to collaborate so like so much why I, I don't know I just can speak for myself yeah, yes. okay yeah, yeah. for okay. myself why do you like, yes yeah. I like to, to collaborate uh, because you know creating for me is adopting and adopting with someone else is uh -huh. much more comfortable than okay. adopting alone okay so it's it's one reason one of the reasons for me is that when imagine you do something alone uh -huh. and you are successful you are alone at home and you say yeah <laughs> you do something with a friend All right. okay there is uh, something special which okay. is creating a relation etc when you are successful it's, <laughs> and I prefer that. <laughs> of course. But how do you choose? Like, do other designers offer your project, or do you offer them? And how do you decide which projects to accept and which ones to offer to someone? So now uh, I have some young designers uh -huh. coming to me because they are looking, expecting uh, to work with me for my experience and maybe for my contacts. Okay. Okay. And. Uh, no, no, really. No, yeah, well, that's nothing bad. Because no, no, it's, it's not bad at all. And, I, and I did the same at the exactly. beginning, working with Bruno right, Feduti, right, for example. Right. So right. I have no problem with that. Right. Uh, they bring me maybe some fresh ID for the, for the team, for example, because I'm much and much more older than them. <laughs> and so it's, it's, it's a good way for me to be connected with things which are not really from my, my yeah. age. Okay. Yeah. And I have the experience for game design, so I can help them to, uh, to build the best game as possible, I hope. So, uh, so some people come to me, and then some, when I have some ideas, some I want to develop them alone, and some, some of them I want to work with someone else. But how I choose is just a, a question of friendship. Uh, for example, Ludovic Maublanc, Antoine Boza, etc. are friends. Uh -huh. And when, I, when we have nothing more together, the first was an ID proposed to, to the other oh, one because we just want to collaborate cool. again and to keep together, in yeah. fact. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's amazing. Last year, you mentioned that you have, I don't know if it's still the same, that you have a prototyping event every Friday. Yeah. Have, did any, any time happen that you bring your prototype to that event and everybody hated that? No. No? <laughs> You're that good. No, 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 I don't. No, no. Yeah. No, no, because uh, it's not a question of uh, loving or hating the prototype who are working. Yeah, like, I mean, for example, maybe just you, you were really excited about some, some game yeah. prototype, but you bring there no, and it's completely it doesn't work. No. 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 Amazing. amazing. No, it's not. It's That's not, experience. It's not amazing. It's, it's just because of my working process. Yeah, okay. Because uh, before building a prototype, uh, I'm just thinking. That means that uh, as long as I can imagine how to play in my head alone, and I imagine some situations which are not good, I don't work on the prototype. I'm just thinking about how it could play, how the behavior 
of different gamers, etc. And when I begin to build a prototype, it's not perfect, but I'm sure it works. Yeah. Okay. So let's finish, wrap up with rather usual question. What are you working on right now? <laughs> what are kind of next games you're going to surprise us with? So for next year, I will have some, uh, some new games. One big game with uh, Days of Wonder, uh -huh. which will be named Yamatai. So I hope that this game will... Uh, I, I hope that the gamer will love Five Tribes, will love this one. I uh -huh. think that it's connected to the same kind of, uh, of player. Mm -hmm. I will also have another big game with uh, um, Boombix, okay. which will probably be named uh, Curiosity. What? Curiosity. Curiosity. And it will be a, a game in a poetic stream punk atmosphere. It's, oh, yes. it's, stream, it's stream poesy, in fact. Right, right, yes. Right. I remember you mentioned it. Yeah, exactly. With uh, artwork, it will be very surprising, I think, and unique on the market. I hope that people will like it, but it would be very different what uh -huh. uh, what we know. So that's two projects were really exciting me, and I will probably have a much smaller game with Matagot, uh, with with Ant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, okay. yeah. But um, do you plan to do any other game in the Abyss universe? Uh, in fact, uh, there is a second expansion which is uh, still made. Okay. But at this time, uh, the production process has not begun because of some problems with uh, graphic designer. So maybe we will have to change uh, the one who makes the illustration. The, the art? Yeah. No. No, but don't worry. There are a lot of people who, are, who have the same talent and we will, we will do the, quite the same thing. But yeah, at I'm this time, <laughs> the, the, pro the project is blocked because of that. All right. But yeah, I'm really amazed by the world you have created. It's definitely that you have created the game and the world and the Xavier Collect created the art. So all in all, it's absolutely amazing world. Like, yeah. And I was really hoping that you, you would make like a different, maybe completely different game in the same universe. I, I have some ideas about that. Good, good. But I've not started to work on it. No worries. I would, I would, I would like my dream. Uh -huh. is to have uh, a game in that world with uh, miniatures. Yeah, perfect. And I have some ideas for that. Perfect, <laughs> because I was thinking, like, we, we need to make a petition with gamers so yeah, yeah. <laughs> to have signatures to get it done. Yeah. Perfect. That's really good news. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks a lot for sharing, being with us, and being such an amazing designer. Oh, thank you very much. We love you, Bruno. Me, Ilya, and I believe all of the gamers. Thank you. <laughs> Hi.